whether it's for comfort or just the way you dress, sometimes you need deep concealment. Mark Craighead, that's what this unit is all about, isn't it? Yep. Yep. This is what we call our pocket rocket. Mm -hmm. And as the name implies, it is a inside the pocket holster versus inside the waistband. Okay. So that is far concealed as you can get. All right. And the idea is, obviously you can see how this works. You have your pistol in here, right. but you put it in so that the flat part Absolutely. is out. To, to prevent an obvious pistol print through your clothing. Okay, so yeah, so it doesn't look like a, a pistol. because like a wallet. If you just drop your pistol into your pocket, you know, the pocket's gonna form around and it's gonna look like a pistol mm -hmm. in your pocket. And it's not gonna be stable. And it's not gonna be stable and it's also not gonna be safe. Because in this, in this thing, you're covering up the trigger guard, which yep. is essential yes. in all of these. Now, I know that a lot of people great interest in these little bitty 380s. Mm -hmm. Huge, mm -hmm. and, uh, form. and they're great guns. I have no complaints. I but, carry one myself sometimes. But one of the things that's interesting is that now we have nines available mm -hmm. in just about the same size. Really so close. Talk to me about how this works. Six nine thirty eight here. Basically, they've just, just upsized the grip frame on their 238 a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you've got, if I'm correct, six rounds of nine with one in the pipe. It's hardly any bigger and still would fit in our pocket rocket and have enough of a, of a wallet outline that it'd be very discreet. Now, what's the deal here? You were telling me this is some special material. That is our newest improvement to the Pocket Rocket. When we first came out with it about six months ago, we just had a slick back, and that was okay, because okay. As, as we know, a Pocket draw is not fast anyway. It's a very deliberate way of drawing. That's so a good point. So you have point. to adjust your situation to that, or how you're gonna respond to a situation. Right. But we added this layer of tacky material to the back. It's permanently stitched on there, stays real good, and that gives enough friction that as you're drawing the gun, you don't end up with everything coming out of your yeah. box. What you don't want is to pull your gun out and then have your holster on the end of your gun. You got a problem there. Yeah, so you want this to stay in your pocket. You come in, you come out. Yep. I love the fact that you make the point you don't go fast. This is not no. a speed draw rig, right? No. You're, it, it, anytime, the deeper concealed you go, almost as a universal rule, you're going to sacrifice some speed for that concealment. Well, sure, because the other side of that is the ultimate speed rigs they use in competition are these things that are hanging yeah, way out yeah. here. Half, six inches away from the body, they got a certain angle. So the more you go inside, the more you go concealed, you mm -hmm. have to slow it down. Mm -hmm. So you have to develop your technique and you have to go practice this, don't uh, you? I was looking for the word practice. That's it. Yep. As you can see, even with a holstered firearm in your pocket, the pocket rocket simply looks like you have a wallet in your pocket. Now, what is going to change drastically, though, is the draw stroke. With that added concealability of the holster being deeply inside your pocket, you're obviously going to th slow down your draw. However, the advantage is if you're in a situation that you're not sure what's happening, is you can actually have your hand on the firearm while you're dealing with whatever the situation may be. Depending on what's going on, that might be a good idea or a bad idea. You'll have to make that decision for yourself. But if things do turn south and you already have your hand on that firearm, it's a very simple matter. To deal with it in an efficient manner. Now, at that point, if you need to reholster, again, special considerations come in with the pocket rocket. You need to withdraw the holster from your pocket, being very aware of your muzzle, reinsert the gun, making sure that trigger's taken care of and nothing gets in there and put it back in your pocket. Now, with that said, I'd like to add that if you are pocket carrying, it is paramount that you not have anything else in that pocket. That is a gun only pocket, period. Because you don't want anything in there to snag that trigger, trigger or foul the draw.